The candidates showed up for the three-month temporary positions they applied for, including animal vaccination and ear tagging. Borstekachaka, one of the candidates, was surprised by the massive turnout and decided not to take part, while Leslie Sanjahi, a graduate in animal health at Yunam's Katima campus, says the entire process was disappointing. I'm number on the list, 3,503. Now they are, say, they are saying uh, they will be calling one by one. Otherwise, in the first instance, we were told to, to submit our CVs. Now they are saying everyone must come. We don't know why did they say, what, 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 what caused them to change. But otherwise, they were supposed to short list to make the, 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 the work easier for them. Someone without even a background in animal health will be picking a yes and they'll be going to do a job they have no knowledge on or any skills on. So that's my issue because then why did they why did they bring a diploma in animal health here when they are not going to be using their graduates, they will just be using just anybody. Because I've seen even education students are here, fuel attendants are here, there's everyone. But you don't see that in every, in every other discipline. Why are they only doing it for our field? Why are there so many for so little cost? A post for comment. The acting chief animal health technician, Michael Simbola, said that the candidates are put in three categories, namely for those with experience, the non-experienced, and the son and disabled people, to give all a chance to learn from each other. He said this was because of the complaints they had received last year from job seekers who claimed that they only rehire the same people for casual work. He added that for that reason, the only category which was shortlisted was that of the son and disabled people. But individuals like Felisa Sema seem to believe that the process is sketchy, while Venet Chikongo say that government efforts to reduce unemployment are not tangible. That yes, yes or no, we have to go inside the room, you go choose. How will you know that that person choose yes or no? And it was better if they do it the way we used to do it previously. The yes or no box, what you, it was be outside, not inside the room. You will never know. That one, that, that's the thing which we call tribalism. You will never know if my brother is there inside. Now, what about me who does not have a brother there? I wish the governor himself could come and appear to the region and see how the youth are suffering. They are always saying Zambezi youth are just drinking and they are useless. But I have realized that Zambezi youth, they have potential. They are willing to do extra mile, something that they can do for themselves. But the government itself is ignoring the use. Although none of the individuals that we spoke to had secured a spot, the majority stuck it out to try their luck while some chose to return home. Juliet's vessel NBC News, Katima Malilo.